good morning guys there is another day in paradise I want to talk about a situation here that you may find yourself in but you don't know what to do sometimes the spirit of man can be down and it is not down because of where you are it's down because of circumstances it's a high time we think about how to dilute such situations. You can find yourself in a position of compromise and you don't know what to do. Sometimes you seek advice, sometimes you don't seek advice. You, you need to go to align your spirit with nature. If things are to go the way you want. The reason why I'm talking about this is because many people, since the pandemic began, they are so depressed, they don't know what to do. The situation is getting out of control and there's nothing you can do about it. If you know you lost the job since 2020, and up to date you are trying to recover the debts and all those things and social life and it's not working out. It's a high time you adjust to your spirit and try to diversify yourself. That's the only way. Surround yourself with the positive energy and the people who love you, who cares for you, who can be there for you, not those who are there to distract you and waste you out. I'm giving this as a living example of what should be done. We have to come to terms to terms with the situation. If you know you are living in the Western world or in South Africa, the reason why I'm saying this categorically is because Babylon and Babylonians and elites in the Babylon in the circle, they invested so much in those areas. And their constitution lands and rules in those areas. So if you're in those economies, you should know there is capital owner. The person who owns the capital that is rotating those economies is owned by a few elites. And that is why you have the credit system in place. If you are in the database of employer mobility, then you are eligible for their debt. And once you are eligible for their debt, you are borrowing from their economy. And from their economy is their capital invested in that economy, meaning you owe them until you die. From food you eat, clothes you wear, car you drive, place you live, hospital you attend, all those insurance companies manufacturing sector, banking sector, real estate, transport, manufacturing and engineering, research institutions, and everything, media, fraternity, all these are owned by these people. And they invested in those economies whereby there is a capital owner, and there is a service lender, and it's the same capital owner, and at the same time, on the other side, he comes with a policy to bury you when you die. That's why in those economies, land, is cast is owned by a few if you're not a manufacturer you're a real estate developer if you're not a real estate developer you're in mining and, and, and agriculture because they have a system in place unlike other parts of the africa or a world whereby you can own a piece of land and nobody cares about it you farm your own food you eat it and nobody cares in those economies, you have to go to the supermarket and buy food. Meaning, there's a selected means and ways of supplying food to the population. Now the COVID hit us. S supply chain is in disarray right now as we talk. It's disrupted. That is why in the shelves, there's no food to buy. Think about it, folks. This is the time to go and buy half a hectare of land, till it, Put a cow there, put chickens, put tomatoes, put potatoes, and have a borehole. Do you know if you have such kind of cycle in alibu farming, you're self-independent. You will not need a fridge. You don't need to go to, the, to spend money to buy food. You will eat from the land you own. And they know this. Now the next felon they're going to do to the population is to starve people through claiming that logistics companies are not supplying food while it's supposed to be supplied. These are the things that are coming your way. And you should see it coming. 
Many YouTubers have been talking about it, so it's a time to say enough is enough. Stop buying and taking credit. Ditch those credit systems. Buy anything you want, cash. Save money until you achieve your dreams. I want a car, you save for a hundred, maybe a hundred thousand US dollars or a hundred thousand runs or a hundred thousand shillings, whatever. Go and invest that money in cash into their deposit. Get your car in cash. The issue of buying on credit system comes with what you call compounded interest. If you borrow 100,000, the credit system will inflate the cost of borrowing that money to you at 6% interest rate annually. So that credit will not dis disappear or be paid in full as you think. It will always be gradually increasing, adjusting the interest rate. So by the moment you will be coming to finish the credit you borrow from them, it will be 100,000 and, 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 and 26,000 rands or dollars on top of that money you borrowed. How will you balance this? This is a slavery system. Any single packet of milk you purchase of potato bag you take from the supermarket, someone supplied that bag, that milk, the logistics. Wake up, make and run to buy everything cash. Run to do things in a positivity. Teach your children and generations to come how to avoid that. Those debts are putting so many people into trouble. Because you work to service the system, not working gradually to build wealth. And that is where the problem is. You work 50 years of service in government or in the entity, but you retire in poverty. What you're proud of is just a hefty pension. But what you gradually worked for as a man is not there because all the money you got, you surface the policies and these policies. Some of them you don't need them, they are necessary. From the clothes you wear, run to buy them cash. Stop having this attitude of going to take on credit. That is where everything gets wrong. Begin with possessing a piece of land. You ditch the mortgage system because mortgage system is part of the Babylon. Supply food chain is part of the Babylon. Hospital where you go is part of the Babylon. Look at this thing that is going on now. Everybody must get it. If you reject to be amongst them, then they ditch you. They take you out of their system. We need to think about it. We need to organize ourselves. Let us dislocate from this institutionalized tyrannical capitalism through federal systems, through constitutional infringements and all that. And we will be somewhere. They invest where they know their constitution was established and is drafted from the Babylon constitution. That is the only way. Let's fight this system. Let's be independent in what we do, how we do things, how we live. Period. Good day, guys. Keep fighting. Black man, keep on fighting. S hit that subscription button. Shout. Share. And many more. Continue to join the group. The movement is rife and it's moving on. Bye bye.